But first, our big story at 10. Where do homeless belongings belong? City and county leaders are working together to figure this one out. NBC 15's Christy Diamond spoke with one volunteer about the scope of the problem. Christy? Yeah, well, if you've ever been to this city county building, then you know this is a familiar sight. Homeless people often leave boxes, bags, and blankets scattered across the steps. And now city and county leaders say it's time to address it because it's a safety concern. But I spoke with a man who runs a homeless storage facility on the east side, and he says the issue is much bigger than many realize. This is where they come and get their belongings. Ceiling to floor. We have a lot of boxes and just stuff back here. The shelves inside the homeless storage facility are full. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Stuff that continues to add up. We've had 25 people in here today. The city of Madison pays the rent for this space, which is operated entirely by volunteers. This is what we do here. Arnold Boone says it's vital to have places like this where people can keep their things. You look at it this way. If they're going to look for employment, if they're going to a grocery store to apply for a job, they can't go in the store and have eight bags of clothing with them and then say, let me fill out an application. That's part of the reason why city and county leaders met tonight to talk about the abundance of belongings outside the city county building. It's not okay that things, you know, bags and boxes and other things can be left unattended. That's really the concern. Dane County District 1 Supervisor Mary Kolar says the bags create a security concern. If people are there with their personal property, that would be one thing, but when people aren't there, in what is it? Is it actually someone's personal property or what if someone intends to do harm? Leaders voted to take on the issue of finding alternative storage places. There's over 300 bags of stuff just in these two rooms. Bud Boone says the problem goes beyond belongings and points to the bigger issue of homelessness in Madison. I think if people would realize that, you know what, this is really a big, big issue, I think that they would come out of their pockets. I think that they would come and do something to help. The city county committee is expected to take up the issue again at next month's meeting. They're hoping to have some sort of plan in place by then. This is your